Hello and welcome to another managerial accounting exercise solution review. In this case we are going to be talking about the sell or process further decision. So what I have here is an example type of question and we're going to walk through how to resolve or how to, how to uh, complete this question. So first of all we'll go through the data set. Severco Mining processes a newly discovered mineral, Zeta, into joint products Alpha and Beta. The raw material Zeta costs $13 per pound. It costs $100 to convert 100 pounds of Zeta into 70 pounds of Alpha and 30 pounds of Zeta. So remember what we're dealing with here are situations where we have one main product that's being processed up to a certain point at which finally you have two separable products. So we have the joint product up initially, we have all that cost just to refine it the first level, and then at that point we have two separable products, alpha and beta. So notice the $13 that Zeta cost per pound, that is the raw material cost, but it's a joint cost. And then it costs $100 to convert 100 pounds of Zeta into 70 pounds of Alpha and 30 pounds of Zeta. So notice $13 per pound is the raw material, $1 per pound is the conversion or labor cost. And that might include some overhead as well, but the key thing is that $100 related to 100 pounds. Now in this example, they're giving, they're starting with 100 pounds and we actually get 100 pounds out of it as well in two separate products. Normally in real life that generally doesn't happen. Part of your refinement ends up losing something. There might be some waste product out of the refinement. So generally you'd see you have 100 pounds of Zeta being converted into maybe 20 and 60 pounds. So maybe 80 pounds total you lose 20 pounds. But in this case, for simplicity, we end up with our same 100 pounds. So now, that's the first portion. The second portion talks about product alpha itself. Product alpha can be sold immediately at a cost of $14 per pound, or it can be processed further into a new product, alpha plus, at an extra cost of $9 per pound. The Alpha Plus can then be sold at a price of $33 per pound. Then we have Product Beta. Product Beta can be sold immediately at a cost of $12 per pound, or it can be processed further into Beta Plus at an extra cost of $20 per pound. The Alpha Plus can then be sold at a price of $28 per pound. So notice these two last paragraphs they have nothing to do with the cost that we initially incurred to get it up to the separation point. So a lot of times when you're dealing with these problems you have a lot of that extra cost but you're not going to need to worry about that right away. You do not need to worry about the original $13 per pound for the raw material Zeta and you don't need to worry about the $100 cost uh, of the initial conversion. That might come in a later problem if you are trying to separate or trying to allocate those costs out to these two products, but we don't need it right now. For requirement one says determine whether the company should sell alpha or spend the extra money to convert it to alpha plus and sell it that way. So in other words, do we sell immediately or process further? Now you can deal with these types of questions a lot of different ways, but the easiest one is understanding incremental costs and incremental revenues. So let's take a look here. What I'm going to do is, in fact, I'll just call it sell, and then I'll put another one, process further. And we'll do the same thing for both alpha and beta. We're going to look at the pros and the cons of each. So with Alpha, we can sell it immediately at $14 per pound. And that would be our profit. Or 
we can process it further for an extra cost of $9 per pound and sell it at $33 per pound. So what we would do there is we would say that uh, we have a negative 9 basically for the extra cost and a positive 33. So by the way that gives us should give us let's uh, go ahead and add these whoops at least together let me identify each of these as totals I'll just call it profit so we either sell as it is for $14 profit or we sell for $33 uh, revenue minus a $9 additional sales cost $24 profit so you can see here that processing further would be more beneficial for uh, requirement or for alpha now the other way to look at this though if you think about it we said initially we could sell for $14 more for $14 profit that's what we can do if we sell it right away otherwise we can sell it at a price of $33 per pound so let's take a look at that by itself that is an additional $19 nineteen dollars additional revenue for processing further now there's also incremental cost that would be an additional uh, nine dollars cost to process further so the other way of thinking about this is it worth an additional nine dollars to make an additional nineteen dollars that's what you have to look at for this particular problem. Is it worth doing so? It's $10 more revenue above and beyond the additional cost, which is similar to what we got over here with our earlier calculation. So now let's take a look at requirement two here. Product beta can be sold immediately at a cost of $12 per pound. So that's our profit if we sell immediately. Otherwise, we can incur an additional cost of $20 to sell it for $28 per pound. So, we would then have $8 profit. 28 revenue minus $20 cost. So, in this case, if we sold it right away, we'd have a $12 profit. If we processed it further first, we would only have an $8 profit, so we'd have less money by processing it further. It would not be worth it. Now let's take a look at the earlier analysis here and see how that works out. So in this case, the additional revenue, it would be, it was originally $12, it would, addition, it would uh, now be 28 so 28 minus 12 we have the 16 16 additional revenue but to get that additional revenue we have to incur an additional cost of twenty dollars per pound so it would not be worth a twenty dollar investment to only get an additional sixteen dollars revenue you're spending more money than you're making on an incremental basis that's an important concept to understand with these seller process further decisions we are completely talking about incremental costs now again you can do it one of two ways you can break it out and say if I sell or if I process further or you can just look at the incremental cost and incremental revenues from processing further to see if it's worth it to do so Now I said earlier that this cost this uh, $13 per pound and this $100 conversion cost so basically this would be $1,300 of materials and $100 of labor I said we didn't need to worry about that for this problem because it hasn't it isn't asking us what the total cost of the product is 
It's just talking about the distinction between selling now and processing further, how we make that decision. If we really need to know the total cost for pricing purposes, we have to figure out some way to allocate this basically $1,400 of joint cost across alpha and beta. Now, there are a variety of ways to do that. One of the simple ways is to simply take a look at the percentage breakdown between uh, how we turned zeta and alpha and beta. 70 out of 30 pounds was alpha. 30 out of, or I'm sorry, 70 out of 100 pounds was alpha. 30 out of 100 pounds was, this is supposed to be beta. So what we can say there is we just allocate the cost 70%, 30%. That's one way to do it, using a physical, physical measures method. But there are a variety of other ways to do this as well. And that's actually more of an advanced cost accounting method. I will have some lectures up on that topic later on when I build the advanced cost accounting modules. But if anybody does have questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you.